Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know I'm insane but I really 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 want to do this project pan and I have been planning it for a few months now and yeah the whole 2016 and 17 I considered doing this project pan but I didn't. I kind of uh, thought about it in 2016 and then I saw Kristen Pye and Mary from Mary, Mary's Furious Diary. But Kristen and Mary, they um, did this as a collab and then I was just like, oh, this is actually a good idea because people want to do it. I didn't see it before they did it and I, but I just didn't put it out there so I can't take credit for it. But this is a full face project pen and I have a product for each category and I really, really hope I will do well because some of the items are easy and some of them are pretty hard but I just want to make progress. I don't know how long this is going on for but I do have bronzer, highlight and blush in it so hopefully I can just hit pan on those you know. So I will just begin this before I ramble too much about this. I'm just so excited and I thought why not just start it now. There are 12 items in this project. Most of these items I want to finish them in 2018 anyway so I thought why not just do a project on most of them. So I have everything in this box. I have marked them as good as I can and then I will take pictures of course and yeah let's just go through it. So I will start from the first step to the last step. So for my primer, I have a very easy item and I believe I can finish this before 2018. It is my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Mattifying Base and I'm all the way down to here. So this is a very, very easy item and I just want it gone because I don't really like it because it's silicone based because it's mattifying and most mattifying primers are silicone based and I don't like that. So I want this gone. Then for my foundation I have my Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid and it is in Sewer Tree True Ivory and I think it's one of the first times I'm not shade number one. <laughs> but I'm down to here and this is one of the lightest shades in my collection so I thought it would be perfect for this time of year. So yeah I'm down to here so this won't take me very long maybe a one and a half month or so because I'm going to use it every single day over Christmas and in my internship next year. So I, I feel pretty good about that one. For my concealer, I have my collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer in One Fair. And I have used this quite a lot last uh, winter when I was the palest and it matches really, really nicely with this foundation, which is the lightest foundation in my collection. So I thought this would be perfect. I don't know where I am, but sometimes I can see through it. So for next update, I will have it sit so it can settle, you know? Then for my powder, I have my Women London Stay Matte Powder. You know what this is. This is in the transparent uh, 001. I have a good dip and the pattern is kind of wearing off. This is my oldest powder in my collection, so I thought I would work on this one. I can use it for under my eyes and my entire face and I really really like it. So this is my like third powder of this. I love this powder so much and it doesn't dry out my under eyes so this is very very good. Then we come to the hard items. I have a blush and a bronzer and they are both from Benefit. So I have my Hoola bronzer down here and then I want to finish this duo blush from Benefit. This is the Hoola bronzer as I just said and I'm kind of wearing down the Hoola print in this. I want to use up this blush because it's a mix of Dandelion and Rogatour and when I deep parted it, it kind of cracked in the Rogatour side so I want to use that up but I'm pretty sure I can only hit pan on these before I make the finale of this um, project because when I have used up the some of the other items and so on it will be pretty boring just to see me using a bronzer and a blush so I will just try to hit pan on them for now and they are items I'm going to use every single day and I love them For my highlighter, I have my Benefit High Beam. This is a very ambitious as well, but this is one of my oldest highlighters in my collection and I'm all the way up to here. 
So I thought it would be a very good base for my highlighters or just my highlighter in general. If you don't know it, it comes with this brush and you only need a few dots on your cheekbones for it to be extremely uh, shining, you know? <laughs> for my eyeshadow category, I have a single. It is from MAC and it is the color Wedge. And it is my only MAC shadow and I really, really like this for my crease work. I know I'm going to start my Panda palette soon, but I really want to work th on this as well. So I thought it would be perfect to put it in a project as well. It's more cool tone than the chocolate bar. I can just show you, I have it here for another project brother. It is more cooler than the mil milk chocolate, so I thought it would be perfect. Oh, I don't have a dip, but I have somewhere on this. And I had this since like 2014 and I have barely used it. For my brow product, I have a quite easy one and it is my Benefit Gimme Brow. This is mostly used up and I don't know how long it will take me, but in a few months it will definitely be gone, so I thought it would be perfect. I'm going to work on another brow product in an upcoming project, so I thought it would be perfect just to top it off, you know? For my eyeliner, I have this one and it is my P2 Intensive Coal Eyeliner. And this is one of those you have to sharpen, so I don't like it. It has a sponge uh, smudger on the end, so I'm measuring it from here and up. So this is kind of where I am right now. I will, of course, have the picture to show you. So yeah, I'm going to work on this, and this is a beautiful, like, dark, dark red. So it's not black, but it's dark enough for me to work for an eyeliner. I just thought it would be perfect for, for the palettes I'm going to pan next year and for over Christmas because it's this deep red shade. For mascara, I have my Maybelline Love Sensational Volume Mascara and this is going to be done by the end of the year. I'm pretty sure it's going, it's getting thicker and more clumpy, but I love this mascara so much, so I'm not going to waste this. And then for the last item, I have my W7 Lip Twister in Very Nude. This is all I have, and if you have seen me panning the last few months, uh, or this second half of the year, you will know I can go through these pretty quickly. It's a very nude shade. I can pair this with any lipstick I want, so it will be gone very quickly, you know. I can finish this in like one or two months. I will show you the picture as well, but just for reference, this is where I am right now. So as you can see, I don't have a lot in this product and it's very, very creamy and I love them to death. And they are so inexpensive and creamy and very, very lovely. That is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I know I'm going to be very ambitious. Some of these items are really, really easy and some of them are really hard. So I hope you will follow along anyway and wish me luck. I need it, but I just really wanted to do this project because I have thinking about doing this project for two years and the entire 2017, I have only done collabs and I really haven't done anything by myself. So I really wanted to do something just for me and yeah, I, I hope you get me. Not that I don't love collabs, I love them and I have a few plans out, so don't worry, there will be collabs <laughs> and more themed pretty pants in 2018. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will stick around on my channel. I would really love to have you here and yeah, please take care until my next video. Bye guys!